Hello and welcome. Uh, this is a tutorial based research channel and uh, a not really going to be showing you the research in action. Uh, we just want to try and get through this stuff. I've done a lot of videos um, so if you can't quite get your head around what we're looking at um, I do suggest going and have a look at the other videos where I show you um, the uh, research in in progress um, it, it helps you understand a lot better what we're actually looking at but i'll try and I'll try and explain as i go along so today we are going to be looking at miranda which is um one of neptune's moons i know it's crazy um there's loads more to do and uh, we are getting pretty much the same results on everything. It's uh, Voyager 2. Um, I can't remember what moon we were looking at, but um, there's a lot of information about the, uh, the equipment and stuff they had on this Voyager 2. And uh, yeah, it's interesting stuff. I think it's now gone interstellar. So yeah, it's, it, it's quite mad. So today we're going to be looking at um, this image. And hold on a sec. Let's put some background on. Just let me do that. Okay. As you can see, this image is very small. So it's been quite difficult to pull the information out of this image. Um, but I hope uh, you can make sense of it. Uh, there's a little bit of information here and what I do say with these uh, videos is it's pretty imperative as you might have noticed on the opening theme to watch this in HD and also pause and just take the image in. Um, we're looking at um, edited edited images so uh, it can be quite difficult but I'll, I'll, I'll explain a few things as I go along. Here's a bit more information about the surface features and stuff um, so you can have a read of this and uh, see what you think because uh, it's all wrong in relation to everything that I'm finding and it's crazy, you know, people are going to say various things and uh, there's no two ways about it that these um, structures, civilizations, anomalies, however you want to uh, call it, um, exist in these photographs. So that would be your first point of call if you want to... Um, find out some answers and uh, th this is why the channel's here it's uh, simply to help you um, research it yourself um, to get the answers so give it a go fair warning though it's uh, it's quite a uh, quite a journey um, and uh, it will change the way you think about everything yeah, there's a lot to talk about that sort of stuff um, in relation to what we know um, and how we you battle with your brain basically you know um, research evidence is showing you one thing your brain is telling you another thing so you've got to you've got to stop listening to your brain basically and ju just take in uh, um, what you're finding if you're doing the research it's difficult I know it is I've, I've spoken to people who are, who are doing this and um, yeah but they're getting the results. So, okay, this is the base image. And there's just a few things I want to point out here. Um, the way the um, image is made up, there's lots of um, horizontal lines here and vertical lines. Um, I think it's, it's just the age of the, um, the photographs they were... Uh, taking and we do know they, they they develop software to eliminate all that sort of stuff but they still don't show us um, those images uh, so you can sort of see one running through here and it has that old look 
to it. So initially you can't, you can't really see anything. Um, so let's, uh, there's something I want to point out here as well. I don't know if you can see this. Uh, we, I've seen this on um, Ganymede and Pluto off the top of my head. But here, here, all the way along, there's like a grid work of little circles which are blurred out. I don't know what they are there for, or what it, what they mean, or 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 anything. Um, <clears throat> it's a bit of a mystery that one. Um, I ended up working to actually show you what's going on. I colorized to sort of like an orangey yellow sort of color, but I did I did start in a in a blue, but it. It got too much um, but here I just marked a few so you can see see what's going on um, quite unusual I don't know if you can see it better here you see these little circles don't understand something to do with their processing um, but it's quite weird so let's get into it okay this book it's a bit leery but it works when you're um, when you're closer up and this is just simply a uh, where are we um, it's a color temperature um, with with a bit more saturation on it um, it just seemed to be the best color to to look at this image so if you are new to this um, this is probably gonna look very uh, like a big blurred jumble sort of thing um, so I do suggest going over a look at the other videos so you can see it in action you can actually see the information being brought out of the the, uh, the image and it's a, it's a good way for your for your brain to process it so sorry everyone who's heard that you know I don't know how many times now um, and I tell you guys, it gets crazier. There's uh, there's some mad stuff coming up. Um, I've got some Mars stuff, and uh, I'm going to be exploring. I don't know. It's a fourteenth or a twelfth of an image, um, and there's some stuff in it which uh, looks like things we can relate to, and but they're not actually and the whole image is completely completely artworked um it's quite a mad one so i might and that probably be in three parts and there's so much to look at yeah and like i say it's 14 or 12th of the actual image it's a curiosity image but anyway that's for another side so initially now what i've done with this as well is that i've put um yeah okay so if you're unfamiliar with this the 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 method i use um shall we say um distorts or mucks around with the um typography you know how it actually looks so let's just do this i'm i see i'm not i'm not into um showing you a few things um, and giving you a nice map to look at. Um, my aim is to pull as much information out of that image as I possibly can. <clears throat> and this is this is why we're we're finding um, that these moons and planets are are literally covered in structures. Um, yeah, it's quite amazing. So as you can see here, I'll just show you. Um, and I'll do this one really a little bit closer up as well, so you can see that these um, structures are, are in the image. That's about as far as I get with any animation <laughs> at the moment. Right. <clears throat> so, 
like I say, um, pause and just take the image in. Um, as you noticed here, I I have flipped the image. It was uh, you could see see a lot more um, this this way up. So let's have a closer look. Now, if you are familiar with the stuff I do, um, then you will start noticing the familiarities that we have with every every moon or or uh, planet that we investigate. Um, so if I point, for, for people who are new, if I um, let's just, it's difficult, it's difficult, it's one of those things, you're not necessarily immediately going to see a block of flats or, a, or a, you know, a car park, a swimming pool, whatever, however you like, it doesn't, it, really doesn't work that way um, so again these are um, it's very busy the size of this planet I think it's the smallest I've done it's only about 290 miles 470 kilometers in in uh, diameter and I'll try not to do to carry on like this. I can't help it. It's so addictive. Um, but this is the tool I predominantly use, and uh, your eye will automatically follow where I'm going. This is why I suggest looking at um, some of the videos which um, show you the research as I'm doing it. You know they're quite long, but you know if you want to, if you're serious about knowing some answers, then do go and have a look at them um, and there are there's some incredible stuff so so you can see these structures here um, I was going to um, Try and do a bit of drawing on the image, but it just gets so confusing. There's so much going on. It's okay if you're doing some, uh, some like Mars surface shots and stuff when you're not trying to point too much out. Um, but there is a slight. We can see the top here, and let's let's go a bit closer. So I know some of you uh, um, look at this stuff on massive screens and unfortunately for the people who, who are going to be viewing this on a phone it might not be working too well for you. It's just the nature of what we're trying to or what I'm trying to show you um, might not come across on a, on a phone. So... PC monitor, that type of sort of thing, is the best best way to go. So, well, I can see that this is a structure, and it is surrounded by other structures. So, if you can make a little bit of sense of this, um, so we're looking down on it, but we can see an element of. Um, uh, perspective i.e. you can uh, don't know what that was I think my computer is struggling a little bit today but you can see how this area is built up you know the, the complexity of it as it were industrial looking I try not to label stuff because I can't because I, I literally I don't know what it actually is as far as we can work out scale wise and things like that 
these are huge um, constructions um, and that would mean that someone is constructing them living in them doing whatever they are doing so the design element of this stuff isn't necessarily something you're going to be familiar with and it's like I said you know you really have to stop trying to um, be logical or, or, or reference it to anything um, because most of the time it it just it doesn't look like anything you're familiar with so you do you have to <coughs> excuse me stop listening to your brain and start again basically it's very difficult it is, it is an absolute battle I mean, I've been doing this for I don't know four four year around four years more than four years and uh, it's difficult it's very difficult So, a bit closer. This is where you'll start losing it. Remember, this image is, is tiny. No, no, very little information in it. So this, this has been a little bit of a uh, a struggle to <clears throat> try and get some uh, crispiness out of it. Now, one thing, if you are familiar with the channel, there's when we talk about familiarities between. Um, various maps and these constructions are, are that everything seems to be in most places it things seem to be built on platforms um, that's what it looks like <coughs> do excuse me and we spoke about um, certain points of the platforms which have like a an enlarged area, it'd be it square, round, um, teardropped, diamond type sort of shape. And I don't know if you've noticed this sticking out here. And it's really quite a good, as we've been talking about this stuff for so long, this is really quite a good view of um, what's going on. So you can see this sort of goes up I mean, I'm not saying it does go up you know the image could be uh, slightly distorted we are on part of the curve of the moon here um, but that gives us a really good look at what's going on and the reason why we think that there are platforms and stuff and I think it was on Pluto we were looking at um, or, or it may have been, may have been Europa. I'm not entirely sure, but um, I found some struts that were underneath, like as if something was um, supporting these um, platforms of sorts. So you can see, we can see where this goes under. You can see there's more structure and you can see the shadows. It's here. You can see the underneath, the inside. I thought that was a pretty good, uh, pretty good little find there. So, on we go. There are varying levels of completion on this map, um, but as usual, it's something you can uh, you could just keep going and going. Um, and the good thing with the method I do use, the more you do, um, it's like a, a push pull of the the um, tonal. The tones of the uh, the pixels, you can eliminate um, an element of um, blurring and stuff. Um, but it does take such a long time because you have to do it slowly. You can't just really hit it hard. Um, 
because you'll lose information. You'll miss stuff. So it has to be done gradually. It comes up with quite a nice colour when you do that. So. So if you've got your head around this, I mean this, there's no two ways about it that that looks like a facility of some description. Massive as well. And this is just more, more, more extensions of it. Like this area here. You would say they are designed I'll highlight the tops and that will give you a more sense of some depth so you can try and get your head around it. Do I sound like a, a therapist? Because it is, it's extremely frustrating doing this work at times as well. Um, especially when people don't get in contact with you and things. And you're just trying to spread the love, you know, that type of sort of thing. So if there are any other uh, research channels out there watching this and... Uh, liking it, get any information, any tips or anything like that, just give us a shout. Give me a shout out, you know. I'm hoping that we all have the same common goal. And um, I need more subscribers, it's simple. And it's, uh, the, the reason I'm doing this is to try and let people know. And uh, for some reason, it's not it's not happening too well. So you can see how this is connected, the layering of it. Um, it does it. It looks so industrial. And that's you know that's that's my my little brain trying to give you a relation to something. Um, might not be, could be where lots of um, people, beings, live. You simply don't know. Okay. You can see a few of these little blurred spots appearing okay you can see the difference in certain areas where you can pull stuff and you can't in other areas I wish this area was uh, more accessible as it were so if we go back I mean come out See how strange this looks. And in the other part two I'm going to show you um, really does um, show you the scale of this stuff. It's ginormous. So generally on this image, there's a quite a um, I did mention the lines and stuff, but um, like Pluto, the way this stuff is um, 
constructed seems to have quite a, a, a sort of cubist linear um, build, which is pretty interesting. That's probably the reason why these images are so heavily edited. See these areas here. You can follow it through. So no matter where we look at it, everything seems to be connected in some fashion or another. Um, which would sort of indicate that everything is uh, enclosed. Um, I mean, this is out near uh, Neptune, crazy as it sounds. So once I've worked out how to use this editing program I've got, I'm going to try and make a little movie about a colonized solar system or the colonized solar system because that is absolutely what he's looking at at the moment. People think you're nuts. You just don't just don't talk to anyone about it anymore, basically. I said I wasn't gonna do this. It's very difficult. It's, it it makes it easier for you to see. Like I say, if you're new to this, it makes, makes you uh, understand more about what I'm trying to explain is here. Unless you, unless you can't see it. I mean, some people have major problems trying to work out what they're looking at, and some don't. So depending what size screen you're looking on, there's some stuff here which would hopefully I'd like to think would make you uh, wonder what the hell you're looking at. So you can see, you can, if you look closely, you can see the stuff coming through here. I'm getting the, the very saturated colours here. It's because I do a lot of the work first and then colourise it so um, to see what is the best tone to, to view it in. So, you know, sometimes it's black and white, so, you know, whatever the image says to you. But here, not ice. I think someone commented the other day, um, the surface is just ice. That was about um, Ganymede. You can see the shadows now.
it's all connected. Pause and observe. Structures everywhere. This. See what I was talking about? How would you say? Um, Americans would say, you know, the blocks, the way, if you look at um, New York, how that's the infrastructure of sorts, the layout of uh, that city. <clears throat> so there's like blocks, and then I suppose you could call it a road that would be in between, not necessarily here. But that's how what we're sort of looking at. See? So this here would actually carry on, I can guarantee that. That's what they allow you to see. And this is what's actually there.
to my way look time. There you go, yeah, it is. I should have looked at this area a bit better. So there's some crazy things going on here. What you can see on this um, photograph is a lot of sort of pipes and stuff connecting. Probably already said that, but right? hey. This is a Neptune moon. That's a nice example. Shadows, tops, you can see where it's cut out. It's a front bit there. There's some sort of a circular type thing going on here. See that? Designed and built. So I've been having problems with my F11 button. Doesn't want to play ball. So I deliberately didn't work on these areas, but it's, I'll just show you quickly. But it's the wrong stage to be really doing this, like like I say, with the, the saturation of the colour coming through. Um, with more stuff, there's more stuff here. There's more stuff here. was simply everywhere.
mean, I'm trying to point things out here, but it's the, it's the whole image. That's what's difficult. So like I say, just find a spot and just try and make sense of it. Once you see it, then you'll see everything else. Okay. If you want to see more of this, and uh, just let me know. Um, there we have it, a Neptune moon. <laughs> Another colonised moon. The structures all over it. It's simple as. Um, if you like, say, if you've had problems trying to get your head around this, look at the other videos. Um, and uh, it, will, it will take you through it. Craziness. Right. Okay, as usual, guys. Um, like and subscribe. Great stuff. Okay, look, until next time, I will see you.